we're coming to the other side of the process over here, mm -hmm. where he worked with Mr. Cage. Well, let's talk about that a bit, because the, the 100 foot the tire print is um, also a work on paper made with a rubber, in this case a rubber tire instead of a rubber eraser, and the image of this, uh, of this, uh, of this very simple set of lines, maybe a musical score. I think it was a Tibetan prayer wheel. Yeah. When I looked at it set up this way, I also thought it looked like a Torah. <laughs> but uh, can you talk a bit about the process of making this itself? I was living on, on Fulton Street, and uh, I hadn't gotten into making prints yet. But uh, Fulton Street is uh, almost empty of, of any kind of traffic on the weekends. So I got some typewriter paper and glued them all together with, you know, like that stuff you have in, in school that you eat. The mucilage, yeah. <laughs> and glued them all together. And this is how many sheets came in, I think it's about 20 feet actually, uh, came, came to be. And then I called John and, uh, and asked him, you know, like if he could come down on the, on the, on the weekend and uh, had some black house paint, which is what I was working with the paint store across the street. And, uh, and, and he drove down in his Model A. I had met both John and the Model A in, in Black Mountain College. And uh, I just poured the paint on the, it rained. And that, the, 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 the paste didn't really hold up too well. You know, I salvaged it all, but anyway, it didn't have to rain. And uh, so I poured it and I told John to really, I, I poured it in, in front and told him to drive just as straight as he could, you know, be careful, so keep going straight, you know. And, and John was fascinated by the fact that we were doing this and uh, he did a good job. And, uh, well, he was the printer in this project. Hmm? He, was the, he was the printer and the press. 